Hello, everybody, and welcome to another exciting uh, game of uh, Game of Thrones with me and Eric. I'll be first player this time. That was the worst flip of my life. Not that it really matters. Uh, once again, I'm here with my Greyjoy Banner of the Stag, and Eric is here with their Martell Fealty deck. I thought you were about to say, I'm here with my great friend Eric, <laughs> and then you're like, Greyjoy, and I was like, oh. Uh, I have the Great Hall, the card I pillaged from you last game. No. It's, it's back to serve me again. And then I have two of the Black Winds crew. Okay, fun, fun, fun. What do you got? I have a Desert Scavenger, which nice. I can kneel to reduce the cost of characters. Yep. I have Elias Sand. She's a bastard sand snake. Mm -hmm. And she her reaction is whenever I lose a challenge, choose a character. Until the end of the phase, that character gains stealth. Nice. Limit twice per phase. Cool. And then I have Aria Hota. Nice. Uh, reaction when he enters play during a challenge, choose a participating character and remove it from the challenge. Nice. I also have uh, a condition, sweet, which I'm going to give one of your people. Noble God, have a character lose the challenge icon of your choice until end of turn. All right, into phase. Sounds good. And then I also have a Blood Orange Grove. Nice. That's the one that reduces Martell cards by one. Yes. All right, we'll draw back up, and then we will choose our thing. Right. Okay, yep, yeah, I'll choose this one. I will choose this one. Nice. Okay. I have filthy accusations, a uh, four uh, gold, four initiative, one claim, choose and kneel a character when revealed. Nice. I have retaliation. Uh, four gold, eight initiative, two interactions. When you win initiative, you must choose an opponent to be the first player. You are first player. Uh, I will resolve and kneel uh, Aria Hotel. <laughs> Goodbye. All right, my marshaling, huh? Mm. Okay, we have the Rose Gold. The Rose Road, sorry, the Rose Road. Rolled Road. Uh, sorry, and I get four money. One, two, three, four. And I will... Reduce the cost of the next unique I play by one, and we're going to play Salador Sun. Oh. After you win a challenge in which he was participating, put a warship location or a weapon attachment from your uh, play uh, into play from my hand. Well, we love him. And that'll be me. You're good to go. Okay, well, I'm going to gain four gold as well. Nice. I will play another limited card. Nice, yep. I can do that. Yep. Yeah, it's once per, once per round. I believe, anyway. I will pay. So how much? How much fight do you have on the table here? I currently have three. I have nine power. All, uh, nine of it is in military. Six of it. Three of it is in intrigue. Six of it is in power. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So I'm not going to be able to stop you from getting his power off, is what I'm understanding. Unless. I, so if we cost out three there, and then we have one, two, three here, four, how much money do I actually have? I, I can treat myself as if I have eight. Yeah, if, it's, if, it's it loyal. Right if it's loyal. Yeah. Yeah, and I think you should have more than that if you do it in over multiple characters. Yeah. Yeah. So. I will play the Dornish Spy by paying Fealty and then the two Blood Oranges. So when it enters play... Uh, no, this one's not loyal, so it won't do feel. It's not loyal? No, it needs to have uh, a banner under its name. <gasps> you can oh, see no. like this, loyal, and then non-loyal. So that's have a little banner under their name. Oh, oh, my whole plan. Dissolved. <laughs> Dissolving around me. Dissolving like the, the fruit of the blood orange. Yes, well, we'll play that one then. Okay. Just play, look at the top two cards of your deck. I'll throw both of these under. Bye. Um, but actually, I can still do this. No, loyal card. It has to be loyal. 
Curse you! So if I kneel this, though, but I only have to pay two for this one. Uh, after an ender's play, choose a character until the end of the phase. That ca okay, it's just for... Uh, I'm going to say he loses the... He'll gain it back during challenges. This, this is the marshaling phase. Heartbreak. Now. Well, he's still going to lose fight. Yeah. And then I'm going to pay two mm -hmm. to put down the Iron Throne. Let's go! Contributes eight strength for dominance. I want that. And this is and this plus one. For your reserve, so your hand size. Oh, okay. All right, um, challenges go to me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm going to probably do a military one, right? You got it. Uh, let's send in the clowns. <laughs> actually, because so we win ties mm -hmm. for military. So I'm actually going to just send in him. Yeah, attackers win ties. Mm -hmm. I mean, I should fight it back, so I will. Because if I don't, I only lose one person, but you're going to gain more blah blah blah. Yeah, I'll gain one one power. You know what? I'll, I'll let it go uncontested. Okay. I'll gain one power for unopposed. Uh, and then after he wins a challenge, I'm going to put this into play. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. The Great Kraken, if a control bailing Vedra gains stealth after you win an unopposed challenge, either draw one card or gain one power for your faction. Um, I don't know if I get to trigger it now. I'm going to assume, just with my limited knowledge of the game, I don't. Because we, I don't know if when we leave that window. That's an advanced level question. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like the speed of the game is yes yeah. to me. Yeah. All right, then we'll do it here. I'm going to choose to draw a card. Nice. <laughs> just draw a plot. <laughs> okay. Um, do we send in more? Do we do... So that was a military, so now you have to kill one of your characters. Mm-hmm. Blip. Bye. Dead. In the dead pile. You're definitely going to do a military to me. Sorry, you're going to do an intrigue to me. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm going to stay there and let you think about if you're going to also try to do... You don't have any renown. I mean, so let's say if I don't do this, mm -hmm. you have plus two there for strength or dominance. So dominance is yours. I'm going to just send this guy in for a renown. Yeah, of course. Yeah. So I'll gain a power, mm -hmm. and I'll pillage the top card of your deck. Confinement. Okay. You're good to go. Okay. Um, so, however, is this still the challenge phase? It is now. Well, that was during the marshaling phase. Yeah. yeah. So after I lose a challenge, yeah. choose a character. Until the end of that phase, that character gains stealth. So I'm going to give her stealth. Sure. Which means we go into the my challenges phase. Yep. If I choose to do a fight, yep. I can stealth past him. That is correct. Okay, that's what I will do. Sure. So you'll gain one of these. That which goes there. And you kill two of my characters. I'll say goodbye to both of these. That'll go in your discard pile because that's terminal. Terminal. And these guys will die. Okay. Um, I will go in for an intrigue. Sure. Might as well do both. Oh, wait. Yeah. Yeah, because this contributes, right? Yes. Yeah. Might as well do both. Sweet. All right. You'll take two of my cards away. Cool. Go in the discard pile. And then you gain another power. Okay. How many cards do you have in hand? Three. Okay. Um, dominance, you get a power because mm -hmm. you have stand the most dominance because you have the Iron Throne. And then we will go to new round. Yeah. I lose my money. All right. Do this first. Hmm. 
this one. All right. I got Valor Margulis. When revealed, oh, kill each character. Oh, I was playing a similar game. <laughs> March to the wall. Uh, all right. So you have initiative. So you choose who goes first. It would be better for me, I think, if oh, I. Oh no! Had... Sorry, for a player first, because then you can choose. First player chooses the order for these. Yeah, I think I'll be first player. Cool. So what does yours do? Each player chooses a character he or she controls if able and discards it from play. I'll discard. Cannot be save. Him. Yeah. Because if I choose, yeah, because if you go first, he dies. Yeah. This just discards him. Yes. So I'll have you go first. All right, everybody dies. Everybody dies. Into your dead pool. Do I have any effects that happen after they die? No. <laughs> and then, uh. Wiped. We draw our cards. Yeah. What a play from Justin. Yeah, I'm really feeling you getting rid of these guys, though. That's a little bit unfortunate. But we can... The Greyjoys will find a way. Oh, the Greyjoys are... are buttes. Alright, you get four money to your name. Yeah, and I go first, right? Yep, you do. Okay, well, first off, let's... Um, play this location. Great Hall. Mm -hmm. Yep. I love me the Great Hall. We love us the Great Hall. We got two Great Halls. We do. We each got one. And then I will play... Of the next... Of the next... Yeah, Martell House. Okay. Yes. That's only for marshalling. Okay, okay, okay. And when can we play attachments only during the marshalling phase? Uh, yes, I believe so. Unless they have ambush. Unless they have ambush. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five. I'll play these two. Nice. Yeah, just get some coverage out there. Oh yeah. 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 All right. I will gain three money to my name. We dig it. We're gonna play this Iron Islands fishmonger. Mm, fucking love him. Um, I'm gonna play the Great Hall. Oh, ho. big play. Two Great Halls. And I think I'm gonna play a Salt Wife. Fascinating. And challenges can go to you. Okay. Um, we will start with a combat challenge. Sure. Mm -hmm. I'll kill her. Okay. And you gain a power. You've got two cards left in hand? Yes, that is correct. Oh, do I risk it for you stealing some of my... What happened? That'd be funny if you threw her in there, I defended, and then you just sacrificed and went away. Because in theory, Ty would go to you. Uh, no, yeah, but that, that way it wouldn't work like that, unfortunately. Because, so, like, I, if, if I did t went in here, mm -hmm. and then, yeah, no, no, because if, if I went to you, and then this, I think it's still in the challenge. I'm not mm -hmm. sure exactly how it works. This guy's sleeping, by the way. He's, He's He boy. is asleep. He's a sleepy boy. Um, I think I will go in for an intrigue. Sure. I'll let it go on a post. Okay. So you get a power. Mm hmm. And I will discard a card at random. Plus an assault. And that is you? That is me. I'll come in for this one? Yep. So I'll get one here, and, and just... I'll steal one from you. Hell yeah. So we'll go to four all. But more importantly, I'm going to draw a card with this. Nice. Okay. All right, end the round, you get dominance, you go to five, you want to grab yourself a power? I do. And then we'll go to a new round. Everybody stands up.
right, I have Counting Coppers. Uh, when revealed, I'll draw three cards. Two gold, three initiative. I have um, Varus's Riddle, Riddle and Scheme. When revealed, initiate the when revealed ability on a revealed non-riddle plot card as if you had just revealed it. Yeah, so we should really draw three then. Yeah. And uh, you who, do you want to go first or second? I will go second. Okay. Three. And draw your three cards from my when revealed. Okay. And then we'll draw two for the turn. Mm -hmm. And then make our money. Uh, no, you make your money after I do. Right, right. Yeah. We got three cash all though. Okay. Uh, I'm going to plunder from you for each location and attachment in your discard pile. Even if it's just one, I need to take. One. It. Yeah. I need the gold. The pirates are desperate. <laughs> the pirates are desperate. Okay. I'm going to reduce the cost of the next unique character by one, two, if they have six or more cost. We're going to play Sir Davos. Oh, we love him. For two. And then I think we... Hmm. Claim is one. I'm going to play this Iron Islands Market. I mean, I'm going to gain the money. We love it. You're good to go. You can do your stuff. Oh, yeah. Claim is this one, right? No, claim is this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Determines what you can do during the... Um... So I will gain five gold. I will kneel this to reduce the cost by two... Three, four, five mm -hmm. to pay one and play the Red Viper. Nice. So he's attacking each defending character with fewer two than two, two challenge icons. Cannot get you their strength the challenge. Okay, sure. Uh, and then with the three left over, we will play... One, two, three. I've already spent all my secret money. Well, oh, Andrew's played during a challenge. Curse you! <laughs> I think we'll pay one for milk of the poppy mm -hmm. on him. Sure. Get him get him some drugs, Justin. Yeah, get him some drugs. We'll pay two mm -hmm. to put in Orphan of the Green Blood, choosing not to bestow because start one goal for more from the green blood to return another character you control to its owner's hand okay because that doesn't yeah because that's an action so it doesn't have the interrupt effect i'm hoping it would well I, it happens during any of the action windows right so you can't use it to save people but you mm -hmm. can return like an ambush character to your hand to play oh. later oh that's that's interesting i mean like if you're going to like not spend this money you probably should just bestow it unless you're planning on spending that money i was thinking of spending the money sure on secret schemes just to draw more cards. Sure. Yeah, okay. All right, challenges go to me. Mm -hmm. I will declare no challenges. Interesting. Okay, I guess challenges go to me then. Mm -hmm. I will declare a combat challenge. Sure. I'll bring in Davos. Okay. Uh, you have five, I have three. Mm -hmm. uh, I will kill you. He kneels. He kneels. And you gain renown. Okay. 
we will go to Intrigue. Mm -hmm. No challenges, obviously, so I'll yep. discard a card from your hand. This one. And then we will go to Crown. Nice. Steal one of those. You get an extra one, so you go up to nine. Huh. Okay, and then Dominant's face. Yep, you get an extra one. And then taxation occurs. Everybody stands. Check our hand size. I am good. And then we go to Plot. Plot, plot. I should remember what I'm drawing next because I played a card that let me know. I have my time of plenty. We each increase, uh, we each draw one extra card. Oh, nice. I have fallen from favor, so I sacrifice a character I control. Nice. Sacrifice is just discard. Yes. Uh, do you want to go first or second? I think I'll go second. Okay. I'll draw three cards. And you also will draw three cards. I get seven money. We love it. I don't think I can come back from this. Yeah, this, yeah. Well, I can point to the exact moment. It was when I, I missed the text on that one character where you could remove a symbol from when I, when you lost a challenge. Yeah. And that's that's where it all, like, if because if I, if I kept my two warships at the start, I wouldn't have need to, I wouldn't have fallen behind. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever been able to pick up the speed from then. Uh, okay, and a gold. Nice. So we have eight gold to play with. You can tell the character's unique because of this, right? Correct, yeah. Well, I'll reduce the cost of the next unique character I play by two. We're going to bring out Maria Seaworth. After she, after she uh, character is bypassed using stealth... I pay one gold to kneel it. Oh, nice. Limit twice per phase. Oh, brutal. D dang. I'm going to spend three to bring out this Black Wind's crew. Uh, and then I'm going to spend two to bring out another Salt Wife. Dang. Ah. Uh. So I'm just going to check. Oh, that's right. That's a text you can do. That's something you can do that I've never, I forgot to say, and I, we probably both missed it. Uh, you can marshal unique characters, and they basically act as another life for that character. Oh, like... You play another oh. viper underneath it. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I think we just go like this, and I think I also drop down the sea bitch, and I can take control of a location until end of phase. Oh, one of mine? Yeah. Brutal. Is this a location? It <gasps> is. It is. It is. Uh, you're good to go. Does that cost anything? No, I just sacrifice it once per phase. I can take it until the end of the phase. Oh. Yeah, you're good to go. Um. Okay, well, I gain seven. It's a good chunk of change. Yeah, I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Um, tap this down to bring this cost down to four. Mm -hmm. Spend four. Pump out Varus the spider. Mm -hmm. The dominance phase ends. Remove Varus from the game to discard each character from play. 
I just have to survive. That hurts you more than it hurts me. Yep. Um... I am going to, let's see, assuming you're always going to be stealth kneeling. Well, no, you won't because you don't have gold, but can you just, get, do you have any way to gain gold right now, just magically? No. no. Also, I don't have any keywords, characters with stealth. You have Melko the Poppy Davos. Oh, right. He is uh, all quiet. Um, I think I will drop two of these mm -hmm. to play him, and then I will actually bestow him okay. the three gold, and then I will plimp and plimp mm -hmm. to put down another He's not loyal. House of Dane Knight. Oh, he's not loyal. That's loyal right. only. Yes, I lied to you. I will not play him. Um, and that will be all I do. <laughs> um, I'll go to you for challenges. I'm not gonna do any. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm, I'm on. I'm on the defense. I'm on the back foot. I can't. Um. Uh, I will go ahead with these two for for military challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'll block here. Okay. So um, I'll just kill him. Okay. That goes there. And you gain a renown on this guy. He gains a power. Yeah. That does tap them down. Um, we don't want that to go uncontested, but you can just salt wife into tapping him down anyways, or stealthing him, or whatever. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do an intrigue mm -hmm. then. Sure. I assume you're stealthing her. Yes. Okay. Oh, shoot, I didn't need to do... Oh, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Plunder. For unopposed, you get one of those. Okay, and then I think I will pass my turn. All right, we go to dominance. You have four, I have seven, so I'll gain a power. I have... Oh, it's strength eight? Yes. I'll just take it from you then. Yeah, you will. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, is it just you have strength eight or it counts as strength? Contribute strength eight. I thought eight. it was just plus two. Anyway, I'll get one power. And then we go at the end of dominance? Uh, yes. All characters get discarded? Uh, no, I don't have to activate him. It ends. Discard each character. Is it an interrupt? Is it forced? Let's find out. Oh, yeah, there's no. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's not forced. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Yeah. Thought it was forced. <laughs> I would laugh if I Valar Morghulis to myself at this point. Yeah, it's not forced. Okay. Uh, let's go to the new round. Okay. the annals of castle black oh no each player may play events from his or her discard piles if they were in their hand after an event is placing your discard pile remove it from the game oh interesting what do you got uh counting coppers uh when <laughs> revealed draw three cards uh, i'll let you be first player okay interesting um so i draw my three i draw my two and then we go to marshalling and we go to draw and then we go to marshalling yeah Hmm. 
Okay, um, we can play events. Just, just on the fly. Okay, well, I'll gain my two gold. Um, where's your, where's that two gold? Uh, from here. Oh yeah, here, put it on top of this, because that's, oh, yeah. that's your active pile. No, no, oh, your, your yes. card, yeah. Whoop. Um, I will choose to play... I guess I can use this. No. Is this a marshal? No, that's a play. Okay. So I will spend one. Yeah, you marshal yeah, you marshal this phase. Events start marshaled. Attachments, locations, Oh, it's and... at the end of the phase. I don't want to do it yet. Silly me. Um just gonna quickly peruse and see what that card does. Yes, please. Sure. You have not yet gained your money, but you already gain a lot of money, so I don't think it'll hurt to play this. So I will play Gate of the Moon. Mm -hmm. Nice. I like money. Money! I am going to choose to beguile Maria Seaworth. Uh... And I will tap three of these down mm -hmm. to play Master Kelote. What does he do? Uh, after I lose a challenge in which he participated, choose a character. That character loses a challenge icon of your choice until the end of the phase. Sick. And then I think that's all I can do. All right. Uh, we're going to plunder from our discard pile. Because we got one from there. Love it. Uh, what's your location and attachments in your discard pile? That's a great question. Uh, one, two. Two. Two gold. And you get uh, plus one. Thank you. All right. Oh, it's happening. Reduce him by four. We got Euron's Crow Eye. Oh, he's here. Yeah. Uh, and then I stop there. Go to challenges for you. Okay, well, I will activate... Uh, does this actually help me at this point? Yeah, I think it does. I will choose to activate that event. Mm -hmm. And I will have him lose his icons. Both of them or just one? That character loses a... Yeah, he loses both of them. Because he loses all three. Yes, okay. Gone forever. Um, and then I will choose to go in with, let's see. I will choose to kneel the beguiling to mm -hmm. have her lose the crown. Sure, no crown. So we've only got the two crowns left. So I'm going to have Master K... Oh, I have to do them in order though, right? No, we can do them in any order. Okay, I'm going to go in with him on the crown. Sure. I'll block here. Okay. You win. You still have power for me? Yep. I will 
uh, do a combat mm -hmm. with these two. Bless him with salt. He gets plus oh, only during a crown challenge. Dang. Uh, yeah, I'll just let it go. Yeah. Go. So, no, this will cause you to win if I let it go. I mean, I'm going to lose no matter what. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, we'll just block there, I suppose. No, it's over. You win. Okay. I'll just, well, I'll, let, I'll let them win in combat. That's only a crown challenge, huh? It gives them plus three strength. Oh, that would have been such an upset. Yeah, but it's only for crown challenge. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Makes sense. Sick. So Love it. That was a cr that was a crush the other way. Yeah. I was never able to get my footing back after the um So I think things I could have done differently, because mm -hmm. the best thing to do after you play a game to see what you could have done differently. I should have paid attention to your card. Yeah, Elias. Sand. Because that card did cause me to lose. Mm -hmm. If I just let it go, I probably would have been in a much better position. I don't know if I would have won the game, but I would have been in a much better position. After though I did make that mistake, I should have waited one turn on Balor Morgulis. Because if you played a bunch of stuff and let you just accrue some value and then I just killed it, it probably would have been more beneficial to me. A hundred percent. The other thing I, I, I was, which is makes this game interesting, mm -hmm. is when you did the one that copied mine, I was actually debating between giving me, us giving three cards or you or only me three cards. And I was like, no, Eric probably would benefit from this. However, if I chose Time of Plenty, you would have not gotten any effect. And then I would have, because I also fell behind on cards. Mm -hmm. So like those were like the moments that I noticed when I was playing that I fell behind on. Another thing was that I, I should have actually, I think probably realistically let her go and kept the economy. Yeah. But I think I just, honestly, I don't, I don't think I had the draw to keep up with it even if I kept her because the thing is I just wasn't drawing enough cards. Yeah. No, and that's, um, I, I, I'll admit, this game, I noticed that once you get ahead on a certain level on the board, mm -hmm. intrigue challenges are really good to try and keep down the other player's ability yes, to... to keep their hand, yeah, because you actually kill, you got rid of, now you, you discarded uh, my, two of my high cost cards. Yeah. And like that, really, like, if you, I mean, that's also the random chance of it. Like, if you totally. hit the other ones, that would have been different, but I agree, it's like you choke them of resources. Exactly. Yeah. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Uh, we'll be back for more Game of Thrones in the future with different decks, probably. <gasps> I'll have to play someone else. I, I just love Greyjoy so much, but I think it's I'm going to try... such a good deck for you. I think I might try Lannisters next and Ooh. just have some fun there. But thank you so much for watching. Have a good one. And as always, a GG's.